Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Fennell with HandAndFootPain.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about treatments for a pinched nerve in the foot. Well, one of the most common areas for a pinched nerve in the foot is between the long bones of the foot. These are called the metatarsals. Now, due to repetitive traumas and force or even injuries to the foot, such as uh, persistent walking, walking on rough terrain, um, walking on uneven terrain, um, obesity, improper footwear that's not sized right, or maybe high heel shoes. There are a lot of things that can cause stress to the foot, and over time what happens is you have 26 bones in your foot that all have a healthy alignment, and these bones can lose their healthy alignment. That means they become misaligned. That puts pressure on some of the nerves that pass between the bones. There's a nerve that passes between each one of these long bones of the foot, and due to these repetitive stresses, these long bones can lose their alignment, their healthy alignment, and they become too closely positioned together, and that nerve becomes pinched as it passes between them. That forms into what's called a neuritis and even a neuroma. A neuroma is when that nerve starts to calcify and have a, a callus develop around it. Now, there are some ways you can treat this at home and some medicinal things we can talk to you about at your doctor's office. First of all, one of the first things I'm going to teach you to reduce pain associated with these pinched nerves in the foot is ice therapy. The best type of ice therapy for this is an ice massage. A lot of times there's a pinpoint of pain either on the top or the bottom of the foot. Depending on which side the pain is on, you're going to pick up an ice cube in, in a cloth or a, use a, a, a glove, and you're going to rub that ice directly on the skin of the foot in a circular motion. You don't have to use a whole lot of pressure, but use that ice for about five minutes. That's really going to drive that coolness down into that nerve fiber, and that tends to reduce the swelling and inflammation that's building up in there, and it relieves the pain too. Now the second thing you can do is put orthotics in your shoes. Now, of course you can get over-the-counter orthotics for inexpensively at the store, but one of the best things you can do is get a custom-made pair of orthotics at your chiropractor's office. They're going to cast your foot. That means they're going to make a mold of your foot, which is a unique blueprint for your foot. And that's going to be shaped to your foot. Now the doctor's going to fit that directly into your shoes so that way you can always wear those. That's going to maintain the arches and help to remove some of the pressure on those nerves that pass between the bones. Surgery is an option that commonly people seek for this neuritis and neuroma, but what they do is they go and actually cut that callus away from that nerve. One of the risks is they could cut the nerve, and if that happens, you're going to have a permanent uh, problem with that. Now, you can also, if you have a successful surgery, many times it's going to be successful today, but a year or two, you might develop a neuritis or neuroma a second time. Why does that happen? It's because the cause of the problem has never been corrected. Remember, we said that you lose the healthy alignment of these bones from all that repetitive strain and stress. If we cut out the neuroma, well, those bones are still misaligned. What's going to happen when you continue the repetitive stress is it's going to become irritated and inflamed all over again. So one of the best methods to correct these neuritises and neuromas is to get your feet realigned by a chiropractor who's specially trained in foot bone adjustments to realign these long bones and toe bones in the feet. That helps to relieve the pressure off those nerves once and for all. This is Dr. Robert Fennell with handandfootpain.com, and I want to thank you for watching this video today on how to relieve a pinched nerve in the foot.